Hello Knoxville. Welcome to the one and out Eric Dooley show. Tonight's guest is my mother, Barbara Dooley. She's here to discuss our big win over UT Martin and to help us break down the rest of the season. Well it's about time you had me on this show. Feinbaum has me on his show all the time. Well, you know mom, I've been kind of busy running a football program. Now that's no excuse. You're just ducking me, because you know I'll embarrass the hell out of you. I cannot argue with that one mom. You're off to a good start already. My god. Where did you get that orange polka dot thing you wore to the UT Martin game? Why I whipped it up myself. Real proud of it too. I made one for Vince, but he gave it to some drunken frat boys before the game. Well, Dad always did have the best taste in the family. So what did you think of the game? The win was nice to see, and I'm glad you took it easy on that high school team at the end. That's the way we raised you. But you know, these Vol fans need to drink more. They are pretty tame compared to what we do in Athens. Jesus, Mum. I told you to tone it down some. Yeah, this is definitely the year to drink heavily around here. What do you think our chances are against Oregon next week? Oh, about slim to none. But miracles happen, so you better hold out for one. No, you'll need it to rain miracles to win that game. Thanks for the vote of confidence. I think we'll pull off the upset of the year. Whatever helps you sleep at night, precious. Damn it, Mom, I hate it when you call me that. So, let's talk about the rest of the season. Well, let's see. After Oregon, Florida and that ray of sunshine, Urban Meyer, come to town. I think that will be another heavy drinking Saturday for Vol fans. Then you have UAB, I think you can handle them. LSU is next, and with Les Miles in charge, you have a fighting chance. Especially if Les has to do clock arithmetic. God bless his heart, math just isn't his strong suit. Okay, so that makes us about 500. I think you should add some hedges around the field in the stadium, just like we have in Athens. I don't think they'll help you win any, but at least you'll be losing in a prettier place. I already tried to slide that one by Hamilton, but he's wise to it. Okay, so then we play Georgia in Athens. If St. Mark could keep his players out of jail, I'd give that one to Georgia. If nothing else, the dogs will win the Fulmer Cup this year. I rate Georgia a toss-up. Next up is Bama in Knoxville. You have a snowball's chance in hail. Thanks, Mum. Then we go to South Carolina. I give that one to you. Even the old ball coach can't shake the chicken curse. And we finish up with Memphis. Ole Miss, Vanderbilt and Kentucky. What are my chances? I think you'll run the table with those guys. November is always good to Tennessee. So, that may give us six or seven wins depending upon how the ball bounces which puts us in a bowl. Where do you think we go? Oh, it's hard to say. Stay home at the Liberty Bowl in Memphis, or go down to Shreveport to the Independence Bowl. Stay out of Atlanta. I can't remember the last time Tennessee played well there. My last question is who is dad going to pull for when Tennessee plays Georgia? Oh my god. Who knows? I think the poor man will lock himself in the study at home, and watch the game in orange pants and a red blazer. Or if I can get into the game, he'll wear red, but I can get him to wear orange underwear. Thanks mom, I feel better knowing all that. Well. That's it for tonight's Derek Dooley Show where we talk no smack at all and hope to win a few games. Let's hear it for my mom. Go Vols. Go Dogs. I mean, go Big Orange. <laughs> <laughs>